All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Very special one today. We're talking about the FA Cup. We're not just talking about it. We've got it in the room. The elephant in the room is Big Ears himself. Uh, not you, Devs, behind <laughs> you. We have the actual FA Cup trophy in my house. Is that the closest you've ever got to the FA Cup trophy, Devs? No. Oh. No. Please tell us more. Oh, well, I've had a couple of occasions where we've been involved in clubs with cup runs and got to have your picture done with a trophy. Okay. But I think it's probably the first time I've been in somebody's house with the FA Cup, that's yeah. for sure. No, it's crazy. It's like yeah. literally right across Very from us special. there. That is the actual trophy that uh, teams all lift at Wembley if they win. Like that is the one that Arsenal were obviously winning most recently. Yeah, absolutely. People seem this to be confused. The like, very cup that Aubameyang dropped, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Just, just a month ago. And we, theoretically speaking, have the ability to play our way to a FA Cup final uh, versus like the Arsenal yes. were in just the other day. Yes. It's the same tournament is what I'm getting at. Exactly. People thought we were in like a different version of the FA Cup. I think people don't realise just how early it starts, how many teams are in it. And it is really the a, a national competition in in every way it's not just about professional football clubs it's clubs down to the level below us can enter so i think in many ways fa cup uh, obviously any tournament you're in you, you want to try and win but in many ways one of the best things about the fa cup is how it's developed and prize money particularly is arranged to help grassroots clubs yep do better whether that's just for getting a few rounds into it right yeah ab absolutely but also it's such a special competition uh, for me the you know the in terms of domestic competitions, it is the most historic, the the greatest competition in the world, um, you know, domestically as, as, as a cup competition. And it gives guys like ourselves and our clubs and our players um, a chance, very, very slim chance, but a chance to be national news. Yeah. And, and it happens every year. There's a, there's a, and you know, a, a plumber or a locksmith that finds themselves on the back page of the papers because they have created a, an almighty cup shock and they have their their you know moment of fame and and, and their club as well. So, yeah, giant killings, magic yeah. of the cup, all these things we've heard before. You get a, a non-professional footballer playing against someone at Man United or Arsenal yeah. or something. It can happen. It, it could theoretically happen to us, but it's going to be a really big ask. We'll get on to why that is yeah. quite tough. Um, but the FA, the reason we're in it, like, so how it works is. Uh, if you're in the non-league pyramid, including the level beneath us as well, mm -hmm. you can enter into the FA Cup. This is the first year we've been allowed to be in it because we, had, we kind of had to pay our dues, didn't we, as a newly formed team? Yes, so you have to have competed. My understanding is to play in the FA Cup, you have to have competed in the previous season's FA Vars or F, FA Trophy yeah. for non-league clubs. Um, and to Compete in either of those, you have to have been an affiliated club playing in the national league system for one season before that. So last year was last season was our first chance to enter the FA Vars, which meant that this season would be our first chance to enter the FA Cup. And we'll talk about the Vars a little bit later. But we are in that again as well. Yep. That's a that is a lower version tournament that only goes as high as our level. Yes. And then you've got the trophy, which is like a second, uh, like the one beneath the FA Cup, if you like, that only goes up to the top of the National League Correct. pyramid. Correct. Yep. FA Cup is the whole thing from yep. bottom to top, which is one of the reasons why it's so cool. Um, so we've earned our right to be in it this year. There's loads of other teams that have earned their right to be in it, but it's very important to stress. We are starting at the very bottom of the ladder, the yep. very first round. It's called the extra preliminary round because yep. there's another preliminary round. Then there's four qualifying rounds. Correct. And then people at home might think the FA Cup starts at the first round proper. It's actually the seventh round of the competition. Yes. So we have to win six tyres. Well, this year for the first time ever, I think all, all tyres are to be played without a replay, yeah. without extra time, you know, due to the, the current. So, so we would have to come through six six games to stand a chance of playing against the professional football club. And so some teams, like in previous years with replays, like you say, they might have had to play 10 games if yeah. they've had replays on replays on replays. Obviously, it's a condensed schedule this year because of the pandemic. So we know that's not going to be something that we're going to have to face. The pandemic has affected things a little bit. We'll talk about prize money a little bit in a minute, which is a huge uh, incentive for clubs like us in this tournament. That has actually been reduced from last year. It's still very, very uh, powerful what it can do for a club, but it, it has been bigger in the past. That's part of the you know, saving money for all kinds of football, which has been affected by it. Um, so going back to the format. So we've got the extra preliminary round, which we've been drawn in. We know who we're yep. playing. We're yep. going to have a little preview of that in a second. Mm -hmm. If we win that, you go through to the 
first preliminary round it's no, called it's the, the pre- preliminary, preliminary round, round. Yep. then it's the first, first qualifying, qualifying round second qualifying round third qualifying round fourth qualifying round and as you go through those qualifying rounds teams from high levels come in like yeah. national league teams yeah. and stuff so there's some there's obviously some very good sides we could play if we were to progress there are you know we talk about non-league teams and but there are professional football clubs in the national league yeah so you know they will be coming in earlier than the first round proper so it's known as the first round proper which is strange to a lot of people because a majority of people probably it's fair to say kind of take an interest in the fa cup from the third round onwards when the, the big teams come in yeah so you just think of it and so you know the the first round proper amuses people because they're not aware that actually the first round is like a preliminary round in and, august and you yeah. start qualifying yeah in this case september, september. for us starting a bit later so yeah the reason you, you talk about the third round is being where it, people get interested that's where premier league teams yeah. come in first round proper is where league two and league one teams come in but before that is a whole load of work to do um, so we know who we're playing. We were, we had a yes. draw. We, we filmed it a little, uh, some footage from it. There it is. Park view away. Park mm. view away, boys. We could have had a team in the league above in that very first game. We could have had a team in the league below. We could have had a team from our level. Would you say we're fortunate based on the fact that we were drawn against a team who are from the level beneath us in our first game? Not necessarily. Um, I think the obvious thing to say is yes. It's be, but in cups, draws are only. You only find out if a, if a cup draw is a good one after the game and if you yeah. progress. That's the, the way I've always I've seen it because I've been in the FA Cup as a player, as a, as a coach, as a manager, and I've been on the receiving end of, of shocks. I've been on the team that's shocked opposition. It's, there is, there's really no such thing as a as a, a good draw until you're through it. And then you can look back and say, yeah, it was a great draw because we're in the next round. It comes down to how seriously people are taking it, how much they're, they're uh, prioritising FA Cup run. Question I've got for you, because you, you do this every year, but this year in pre-season we've played some teams from very high level, obviously, including yep. a Step 2 team, yep. St Albans, National League South. Is there any thinking in that about preparing for an eventuality where we might play a higher ranked team in the FA Cup? But I said to the players when we played St Albans a couple of weeks ago, you know, we could potentially, if we were to be have a successful run, draw a club at that level in the FA Cup. So it, it, it was taken on to give them a taste of what they would be facing playing a team from three levels above. Yeah. So um, it wasn't, designed specifically with the FA Cup in mind, but knowing that that's a potential be- for us. See what we're like against a team like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, well, in a minute, I'm actually going to do a prediction. Right. I've got this envelope. Mm. I'm going to predict where I think we might get to in FA Cup. Okay. Um, obviously, it's, it could end after one game. You know, it could go a lot longer. Uh, let's, let's look ahead to this. Game by game, we'll take it. Yep. This first team. So we're playing a team called Parkview. It's also their first time in the FA Cup. Yep. They've been it's around a, a bit longer than us, but they haven't entered it before. Um, what's amazing about this fixture is that we're actually we're away for it. We're the away team, but their home ground is a place that's officially known as New River, but used to be known <laughs> as the Hashtag Arena. It Correct. is where we played, what, the first 40-odd games of Hashtag uh, you know, chapter one, if you if you like. So we're very familiar with that ground. You've seen us play there a few yep. times as well. Uh, what what do we think about this game? I mean, I, I get what you're saying about us not necessarily being lucky in the draw, but it would be fair to say we should be the favourites for it based on our position. In the, based in the on, on, you know, league status, then yes. But, you know, as you would have seen yourself over, just over the last couple of years, particularly at non-league level, the changes that happen from one season to the next and that for a number of reasons um can be quite significant so we really don't know what we're we're, we're in for and that's no. the thing there's been no opportunity to get to see the opposition um they would have seen very little of us because even this pre-season there's things different about us and the amount of footage we're putting out is fairly limited it's, it's different for the, for this because it's pre-season yeah so um, it's yeah it's, it's unknown yeah it is, and we, you know, we go into a game like that, we know even less about our position than, than we do at the teams in our league right now. Yep. We've done none of that kind of research, if you like, I haven't been able to. Um, but do you think that they would have been happy to draw us or disappointed to draw us? If you were a team in the level below us, 
if you want to see hashtag United on on and be in mind is that they're staging, but it works differently with with um, gate money, my, people that come through the door and the FA Cup is all shared, right? It's shared. Um, so you know any profits or losses are, are shared between the two teams, but and I think in a normal uh, world environment they potentially look at it as a really good draw because it may attract a, a good crowd but I think there's probably going to be restrictions because of COVID around yeah. the amount of people that are allowed in so that tempers that a little bit um, looking at it from a um, you know just pure footballing perspective they will I, I would hope that they would see it as a tough draw but with every anybody going into a cup competition, you know what they're one-off matches, and even more so, knowing that there's not a second bite of the cherry, if you like, if if it's a draw, you don't even get an extra thirty minutes. So at ninety minutes, and and anybody can over over ninety minutes, anything can happen. Anyone can draw a game, take yeah. it to pen, the lottery of penalties. So after ninety, it's level. It's straight to penalties. Straight to penalties. Yeah, so that's very new for the FA Cup, obviously. Um, okay, so. 184 games are happening at this level. That's just to give the people just at home an round. idea of how many games are happening, how many teams there are at this level. There's 737 teams in total that will enter the FA Cup. So we're one of 737. Um, I'm not going to ask you how we're going to do, but I will ask you, what are the chances of any team at our step, step five, or, or the ninth tier of English football, getting to the first round proper because you've done this before you've been involved in clubs that have made that run we're going to talk about that later yeah but a team that they might have been been at teams that are a higher level than what hashtag are now to be fair what are the chances? Uh, they have been yeah the, the one i mean as a player i, I managed to get there from a, a similar level okay but the chances are so so slim what we how slim are we talking we're talking one uh, percent we're talking one Pro probably yeah, yeah yeah i mean if if one team gets to the first round proper of, of this year's competition, it will be a huge, huge achievement and a huge shock and surprise. There will have to be some some real upsets on the way, I think. We saw a great run from a team in the level above us last year, Malden and Tiptree, yeah. quite local to us, who went all the way to the first round, I think, they got to. Uh, second, second, I think. Second, I think, second, second I think yeah. it was the second, wasn't it? Which is unbelievable. Yeah. And, that, and that's a step above us. So we want to manage expectations on there. Of course, like... Me more than anyone will love to sell the storyline that, you know, if we get to the FA Cup final, we could be in Europa League next year. <laughs> this is the beauty of it, though. It can happen to anyone to some, you know, yeah. to some extent. We've, we've seen in the past. It, and, and there are some non-league clubs with some real kind of giant killing histories. I think of like Life Spartans, for example, is probably a name that people who follow the FA Cup would recognise. You know. um, as you say, a team from the league above went to the second round at least one team last year then there, there may have been more from the league above you you, you might get three or four um but then when it's you come down up, it, again yeah. it's a big step from that as well so um yeah it's i'm not saying it can't happen i'm no. not saying it won't happen but we if shouldn't it expect does, it to happen. if it does it would be huge yeah it would be huge and let's talk about why it would be huge okay so apart from the general excitement press whatever there would be about it uh, there is prize money yeah. Of course. Um, I think it's £1,100, if, roughly, if we win this first round, and it goes up incrementally from there. Obviously, once you get nearer to the first round proper, that money gets significantly, significantly higher. Better, yeah. We're talking into the tens of thousands and whatnot. But also, what you do get with the first round proper is the chance of potentially being televised. Yeah. Now, listen, that's not our choice. It's nothing to do with us as to who the BBC or BT Sport or whomever choose to televise. For me, I've always thought, if a team called Hashtag United gets the first round proper and they're not televising it, they're making a mistake. Cause, yeah, because uh, you're the owner. No, because we're called <laughs> Hashtag United. Like the whole magic of the club cup. You've got a team called Hashtag United. You're not going to televise it. Um, so who knows? Like there, there is a world where we could get to the first round and not be put on TV. But if you yeah. are put on TV, more money comes in, which is yes. it's a massive thing TV money. And, and that's even bigger. That's 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 huge. Yeah. And and that sets teams up. That sets clubs up for you know years. Yeah. We saw that when we were ground showing Harringay Borough in our first season. They they did a cup run. They played AFC Wimbledon. Do you remember yep. they only lost one nil as well? Correct. And they had BBC down for that. Yeah, so that was live be on TV. Huge. I mean, particularly now in the world we're in now, with the clubs struggling, clubs going out of business because of what's happened. If a club puts a run together this year more than ever, you're really talking about stabilising their future. Yeah. So it's great to see, and I think I'm always happy to see any non-league club do well in the FA Cup. Obviously, now we've got a horse in the race. We'd love it to be us. Um, I want to talk about. 
our game particularly, then I want to talk about our experience in our club because we've got a lot of different people that yeah, have had FA yeah, Cup yeah. experience. But the good news for our game is that well, we didn't even know a few weeks ago whether we were going to get to play in the FA Cup. We thought they might start levels later yeah. uh, this year. That's great that they haven't. We also now know it's not behind closed doors, which is great. Fans are going to be there, although it's probably going to be capped. Yes. We think at around 150 people. Yeah, I'm not sure. It'll either be 150 or 300. I think it depends on um, Parkview and whether they've had the chance to have a game before playing us or not. It's one of the rules we have to have to follow. Okay. Um, but at, we will get at least, there will be at least 150 people al allowed in. So that's, yeah. that's great. That's better than behind closed Much doors. Much better than behind closed doors. Yeah. The, the game is happening on Wednesday, the first, uh, 2nd of Second. September. It was going to be the Tuesday the 1st. It's been moved. Um, we'll put a link in the description to any ticket information or whatever. We're still kind of getting that in literally as yeah. we record this. But um, if you're lucky, if you can be one of that 100, 150 or 300 people to get down, it'd be great to have people there supporting hashtags first and only ever first FA Cup game. Yeah. We're never going to yeah. have our first game no. again. Very, very um, special. It could be our only game of the FA Cup. Like we can't, belittle our opponents there's every chance they could come and, and, and put a performance together and knock us out so we've got to really ex get excited for this game obviously in a safe way and making sure people are comfortable to come out to games again we're obviously going to do our best to film it as well and tell that story as we always do but it'd be particularly great to see some fans down for it I don't want to tempt fate but the draw is done in a way that we know if we were to beat Parkview we know who we'd play in the next round so I do want to just address it slightly yeah so the first two rounds are drawn together and, and then released, so they're not that they're, they're they're drawn at FAHQ, yeah. and then they're released at the same time, so everybody knows who they will get, or, or they've got other teams that are coming at the next round know who they'll be playing the winners of in, in the previous round. So. so obviously, there's every chance that, as I said, we we could come out come a cropper and get knocked out first of round. Of course, yeah. If we progress, we'll play a team at home called Felix Stowe and what's the second part of their name? Felix Stone Walton. Felix Stone Walton. Uh, I think, is it Isaac Skubik played for them last year? I think he may have done on on, on loan. Yeah, lads, yeah. someone might remember him from the Hashtag Academy series. He got to the last four. Um, so they're league above us. League above, yeah. So, uh, we've, so we've got, you know, one draw from a team league below and then the next one, if, if you know, we're fortunate enough to progress, will be the challenge of taking a, a team on from the league above. So obviously we'll revisit that particular game if and when it occurs and we get through that first round. But we know exactly who we'll be playing. We know it'll be a home game as well. So we've got a little bit of a rough idea of what's mm. to come. Obviously, if we were to get through that second round, that would then mean, or the second game, we'd be in the first qualifying round when some more teams from higher levels come in as well. So the challenge, I mean, would that be a good achievement, like in your opinion, yes. going those two rounds? Is, yeah. that, that, is, that, a, is that a par? Where's your, what's your... I know it's hard because it's, it's all dependent on, on draws, but... What's your happiness level? If you're sitting here in, in six months from now, we're chatting about how we did in the FA Cup. If somebody says to a team coming in, at the round we're coming in, that you will get to the second qualifying round. So three wins. You, you, I, I think, you know, that's that's a relatively successful run. Okay. Now, as you say, draws will dictate that somewhat as well because you would look at, some draws as more favourable than, than others. But yeah. my experience has shown me that a potential easy draw, you know, Doesn't blows up in your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. And, and, a, and a draw that you go in with very little, um, you know, people are giving you very little chance of winning and, and you upset the odds. So but These games come thick and fast as well, right? That's the thing. They, they start, it's our first game of the season, competitive game anyway. And if we get through that, we've got another game like nine days later for the, the next round. So they're very, very uh, quick to come. Um, so the first round is played in November. Yeah. So that's... The first round proper. Yeah. So, so that's six six FA Cup games, six FA Cup rounds before... Over a two-month period, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's full on. It's, it's, it basically does mean that you play, you miss a few league games and yeah. you have to catch them up at a later date. Yeah. Uh, but it's a good problem to have. So we've talked about the percentage chances. We've talked about how, you know... Numbers wise, it's, it's unlikely that a team like us would go to the first round proper. But you know me, Devs, I'm a positive guy. I want to look at what could be done. Yep. So I want to look at examples that we've seen. So I know you've got some FA Cup experience personally as a player and as a coach. Yep. Tell me about your best FA Cup achievements. So as a player and playing one level above the Essex Senior League, although it was structured very differently then, um, without wanting to sound too old, <laughs> uh, and I think we were probably the equivalent step as, as we are at hashtag now. So in terms of the pyramid, uh, we got 
to we fought a team called Ford United um, over 20 years ago now. We got to the first round proper, um, drew Preston North End away from home. Wow. Um, David manager, um, David David Moyes was the manager. Great manager. Um, so I think it was his first managerial job, and they they had they were top of League One at the time. So and we were in what was then the Ishmian League Division Three. So um, we were, I think, the lowest place, lowest ranked club. Certainly one of the lowest ranked clubs, and ended up playing the highest ranked club. Yeah, uh, they would say because they were top of League One, and that was the the, the highest. Where were you playing? What position? Uh, I was left back. And how'd you get on? We lost three nil. Which, if you think there were seven leagues, I think you know seven leagues, seven it's leagues crazy, bet- it? between the clubs. There's not yeah. many cup competitions you can play a team seven leagues above you. That's what. No, and it. there's not many where you can lose three 0 and get a stand innovation from the crowd at the end of the game. Wow. Uh, you know, I, I remember it got to the point where the crowd were almost willing us on because the they hadn't before the game they hadn't heard of us. Um, nobody at the club had heard of us. And yeah, it was it was it was really a uh, really quite special occasion, um, and, and that would have been great for the club as well in terms of bringing money in. Huge, huge for the club. It, it wasn't unfortunately it wasn't televised, uh, but the, the the prize money helped the club build and get promoted the following year and the year after that. In fact, I think we promoted three times within the next five seasons. So you think that's that's because of the, the FA Cup? It would have been a huge huge factor because wow. it allowed the club to. To build towards that. So that's amazing that mm. you did that as a player. But I also know a little bit more closer to home an involvement you had as a coach at East Thurrock with another great run. I was actually there because yeah. I was making some some documentary stuff back in the day about it. It's one of the reasons we know each other that's anyway. Correct, yeah. uh, Hartlepool. Make memories for yourselves that you will cherish for the rest of your lives, that your parents will cherish, that your children will cherish, your friends and your family. Make yourselves and each other proud, boys. And before that, Macclesfield at home. So that of was course. the second time we'd reached the first round of the FA Cup, I think, in three seasons, maybe three or four seasons. What we're establishing, Dev, is you've got previous. Yeah. You know, you know, it's coming through those early rounds. Yeah, there, there's uh, there's also been plenty where I've gone out of the first attempt. So yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. That's how, it, how different was it getting to the first round as a coach compared to as a player? Did you feel less in control? Because that's um, obviously something you're going to have to get familiar with, or not familiar with, we already know about it. But with yeah, hashtag. You, you always kind of feel less in control when you stood there. It's a very, it is a very, very different feeling. But it is all about the players. How and how is, can you, as a coach, experience make the players aware of what? I mean, a lot of players I know they know what the FA Cup means, but these days, even more probably, if we're honest, like the FA Cup isn't seen in the same way that it was probably 20 years ago. Like, how no. do you make the players realise how big it is for our club? I don't think you you can until. They experience the ride, if you like, because I think of each of those cup runs and I remember as a player equalising in the, we equalised in the 98th minute to take a game to a replay, the very last kick of a game, we were, we were down and out and two rounds later we were going to the top of League One. Uh, I remember in our first cup run that where we drew Macclesfield at home and actually that was, tele- that was televised Um ITV put on as, as one of their extended highlights so that was a huge thing but I remember being 3-0 down at home to a team in the league below us in one of the earlier rounds and coming back drawing 3-0 and, and then beating them in a replay so there are so many swings in a cup run that you really can't think beyond the game that you're playing mm. and, and then so they've you know, you know when Knowing full well that one a, a team will will have a really good run and, and, and get quite far, you can't ever think that that's going to be you. No, of course not. But we've used the analogy in the past that we think when other teams come to us for league games, it's almost like an FA Cup game for them mm. because they know the cameras are on and they treat it like that. Um, and, and you've used one sort of phrase you've used a lot when you talked about when we're trying to you know have a successful league campaign. You said things like it's only a big game if we lose. Yeah. Do you stand by that when it comes to the FA Cup or is the FA Cup a big game regardless? FA Cups, it's, it's very, very different because it, they're, they're one-offs. So um, they're bigger games if you win. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You make them bigger. The next it's one. almost the exact opposite. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we know what's ahead of us. We know the challenge. Um, you know, it, it excites me that, that you've had runs in this tournament. You're not on your own either. We've got no, players and, at this club. And, and some of the guys with far greater... 
experience them myself. We know, obviously, your assistant Joe Keith has, has played at a very high level in the FA Cup. So Joe, I think Joe scored the winning goal in the third round, I think, for Fulham, uh, against Fulham for Leighton Orient. And uh, that was when Fulham were a Premier League team. I think, I think Tom uh, Williams has had multiple fourth rounds. Fourth rounds. He's played Tottenham in the fourth round right. before. Uh, Jacko has had a first similar round. first round uh, run as a player. Uh, we're going to actually get some messages from those guys. Right. They can tell us a little bit about their FA Cup experiences. So let's hear from some other hashtag people on their FA Cup history. So it's been quite well documented for me, really, that um, the FA Cup holds a, a real special place like in my heart. Um, I think it does in most non-league players because it's the sort of thing you aspire to do. Very lucky if you do get the opportunity um, to get through all the the prelim and qualifying rounds and make it to the first round. As I said before, um, I was lucky enough to do that in 2005 with uh, my local team, pretty much a village side really. Um, we played some, some big non-league teams on the way through to, uh, to the first round. Uh, we beat uh, Maidstone, Wealdstone, um, we played um, Canvey, we beat Canvey um, in a replay. So yeah, I think in total we played about eight games in the end to get to the first round where we played all the shot at home. Um, it was great for us, great for the club, great for community. And I think it's, as I said, it's, it's definitely something that as a non-league footballer you kind of aspire to do. Uh, it's so hard to get there. Um, and yeah, despite what people say about the FA Cup and it, it losing its its it's gloss at the top levels, that still lives on at the lower levels of football. I was lucky enough to um, you know, play in, play in the third and fourth rounds and uh, play away at Tottenham, play at home at Newcastle, um, and then went to Sheffield United when they were in the Premier League and we absolutely bopped them off the park, beat them 2-0 on their own turf uh, with Swansea City. Neil Warnock said we didn't deserve it, but we absolutely tore them to shreds. And the crowd that day, I think we had about 3,000 Swansea fans. It was just like, it was, the, it was their best moment of the season. It was unbelievable. The year I went to Orient and we drew, we drew Fulham in the third round and there were people at the club convinced we could beat them. Even though they were a Premier League team and we thought we had no chance, we went there and, and we went 2-0 up. And then you need the luck because it's a Premier League side trying their best and they absolutely destroyed the second half. But missed a penalty late on and we held on for a 2-1 win and all of a sudden you've knocked out a Premier League team and you're a hero and you know that is the stuff that dreams are made of in the FA Cup and that's what people can achieve and it might be us knocking out a, a conference Premier team in the last last knockout phase to get to the first round which will be you know probably even bigger than that and this is the cup of dreams. It's the one chance you get as a, as a non-league footballer to kind of live that dream and aspire to to play against the, the top level of players and uh, it's it's definitely a magic time for me the uh, it still sticks in my mind the 5th of November 2005 uh, I won't forget that in hurry my uh, Wembley aside playing the hashtag that the greatest day I'll um, I'll ever have in football no doubt so lots of FA Cup experience, Devs. Yeah, uh, and from the playing side, so we're speaking about the coaches, but even from the playing side, Simon Petty and Chris Newby were part of those cup runs with myself at East yeah. Thurrock. Tom Anderson. Um, Tom Anderson. Tom Anderson as a, uh, as, well, he's a baby, but he, he was on, on the bench at, at Hartlepool. Yeah. The first, so he's got experience with it as well. So it's, it's going to be really exciting. Like, obviously, we know it could go either way, um, but it's something I've been looking forward to since we're into non-league, our first FA Cup run or, or game. I think that's that's... The big, the biggest thing for me is it's just another step from you creating a team with your friends and taking it somewhere, and then to be able to say that you know you see that there's a there's a graphic out there with all the teams that are competing in the FA Cup this year, and to see our badge up alongside all those huge. Yeah, fantastic football clubs is is quite special. Well, because of those seven hundred and thirty-seven teams, some of them are Man United, Man Without City, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, yeah. West, West Ham. Ham. <laughs> imagine, imagine both West Ham fans. Yeah, that, that'd be crazy. Uh, okay, right. We should also mention the Vars. We're still in the Vars. Yes. Fair to say, disappointing in the Vars last year. Yeah, but a great example of what can happen in cup football and one-off games. It's what happens. So that's why you can never get. You know, it always amuses me when teams target cup runs because yeah. they're not like league campaigns. You can't recover from a defeat in a cup run because you're out. It, it, obviously, it was our second round or second qualifying round for us in the Vars that we got knocked out in, but we were actually leading with literally a minute left 
and then we considered two late goals. So even it was actually just a bad few yeah. minutes that cost but us. And Missed a penalty in the game as well. And exactly that flip I was talking earlier about cup runs and coming from 3-0 down and scoring in the, la with the last kick of the game, you know, for that to happen for a team, it's another team's got to be on the receiving end of it. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. was us last year. One thing we did mention uh, when we got the bad news, obviously, a few months ago that our season was null and void and we weren't going to get the chance of promotion or to at least try and get promoted, um, was that we were going to get another go at the Vars. Because yeah. if we had got promoted, the Vars is finished for us because it stops at this level. That's correct. That's something yeah. you're looking forward to? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we know our draw for that as well. Yeah, it's um, tough. Yeah, we've got a home game um, against, and we could even come up against um, a team we played against before, which is Wormley, and if we go through one round as well. Or Lopez Tavares. Or Lopez Tavares. Because they've changed their name. They're, they're called Newham. Athletic Newham, yeah. Yeah, and they're much better side we're led to believe well, they, were in, they were they, they were um, they were certs for promotion last year yeah. so so that's the thing with the Vars is we, we can't get anyone at a higher and, level and than us before but we that get, we've got to get through take clear in our league yeah. and we had three really really close games with them last year so. like you said they're only a couple of people that might have strengthened over the summer they'd be an even stronger team absolutely they were one of the better teams so yeah also the Vars as well as uh, potentially some other cup competitions but yeah. we're waiting for information on that correct right it's time for the last part of the video I've got an envelope here FA Cup 2021. I am going to write down secretly the round up. This isn't a a target. This is what I think will happen as opposed to a target. Because my target is to win the whole thing, obviously, because we want to win everything we're in. Yeah, of course. Um, right. Okay. This is the round I think we're going to get to. Do you need to know? Would you all right for spelling? How do you spell final? <laughs> 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 Final preliminary. <laughs> yeah, is that a thing? <laughs> right. That is in this envelope. We'll seal it. We'll review this as and when our FA Cup uh, run ends in May. Okay? So, uh, sweet. FA Cup reviewed. We've got another video coming up, which is going to be a squad review preview, if you like, going into the new season. Obviously, you've mentioned there's movement. Yeah. So, we're going to talk about why that is, who's mm -hmm. in, who's out and all that stuff. But drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Slightly longer form chats between me and devs about hashtag and obviously let us know what other stuff you'd like to see us talk about. Uh, just enjoy having the FA Cup there as well. Can you move your mic out of the way a little bit, Dev, so we can That's get so. a good view of it? Just push that out of the way. Look at that beautiful trophy. FA Cup is in my house. Uh, maybe not for the last time. Maybe one day we'll get it back in here again. I mean, by that, I mean, if we were to win that it. That would be really, that would be up there, wouldn't it? Taking the FA Does that happen? I think normally they go in like cabinet. Well, I've got a cabinet we can put in. <laughs> but listen, it's amazing. Uh, really happy that we've got to even get to this point. Because, well, we can't hear you now because the mic. <laughs> but yeah, uh, really happy that we've been able to even get to this point. And let's see how, we, how far we can take it. Hopefully see some of you at the game as well. But uh, subscribe for more. We're very close to 500,000 subscribers on the channel. And we'll see you soon. Until next time, don't forget to hashtag it.